Um, if you guys remember, the difference rule is basically we can take the derivatives of the difference of two functions. Now, what I would recommend doing is first simplifying this function. So we have f of x equals x minus, this is over 1, so therefore that's going to give you 4x over x plus 3. Okay? Therefore, then if I'm going to look over, if I'm going to take d over dx of f of x, I'm basically going to take the derivative of x minus the derivative of 4x over x plus 3. So we know the derivative of just the variable x is going to leave us with 1. However, here we know that we have to go ahead and apply the quotient rule. So again, just going and identifying our kind of like top and, uh, top and bottom functions. You can say that f of x equals 4x, g of x equals x plus 3, f prime of x would equal 4, g prime of x equals 1. And again, don't confuse my f of x and g of x with this f of x and g of x. If you guys remember, I'm just using that based on the definition that I'm giving you for the quotient rule. We could easily use different notation, but that's just the notation that, uh, that made it simple for me. So therefore, that's the way that I'm um, using this case. A lot of times, I'll even change the name of the function just so that doesn't get confusing for that. So therefore, um, subtraction. Now, basically, what I need to do is just go ahead and apply the product rule. So we have g of x times f prime of x, which is going to be times 4. And then we're going to go minus f prime of x, which is 4, times g prime of x, which is 1, all over g prime of x squared, g of x, which is x plus 3 squared. Okay, And then without uh, further simplifying, we could distribute powers over here. What's up? Where? What I? Three f prime of x. No, that's negative four. Oh, um, what I do? This is f prime of x. That's to be f prime of x times g of x. Wait a minute. We have g of x, x plus three times f prime, which is four, and then f of x, which is four x. Thank you. Times g prime of x, which is one. Gotcha. Thank you. So therefore, distribute that, and then that's a 4x. And then that's over x plus 3 squared. 1 minus, you can see that those divide out. We're left with 12 over x plus 3 squared. And then obviously, we don't need to, I'm not going to combine or simplify any further, but that'd be a simplified 